Well, for nearly a week, we've been covering the efforts to rescue 17 kidnapped missionaries in Haiti. Well, tonight, we're speaking to a man who has firsthand knowledge of what those 17 people are going through. He was kidnapped, held for ransom, and beaten. NBC6 reporter Jamie Garola has his story. This morning, with parts of Haiti paralyzed by gang violence, the effort to secure the safe return of 17 American and Canadian missionaries held captive is entering its fifth day. The security of Americans abroad will always be one of the principal issues for, you know, for our government overall. NBC6 anchor Jackie Nesbrough sat down exclusively with Gentry Smith, Assistant Secretary for the Department of State. And uh, so we are monitoring the situation as, is, as, is, as it is unfolding uh, in Haiti at this time. There's an interagency uh, activity to, to ensure that, uh, that our people are returned safely. The abductors demanding $1 million per person. The FBI won't comment on the negotiation, and the White House says it's U.S. policy not to pay ransom for hostages. You can feel for them. But you won't, you won't really understand what's what really going on in that place. This South Florida man who asked us to call him Jimmy says he too was abducted in Haiti 16 years ago. The 44-year-old still remembers it like it was yesterday. And then they cover my face again without asking any question. And some, like two or three guys came up, came, came in, and then they start beating me. I mean, that was, that was some big... Um, Big, big hits. Jimmy was walking with his wife, taking their 22 day old son to the hospital when he says three men with guns kidnapped him. I didn't know what to do or what to say. Jimmy says he was beaten and held for ransom. The criminals wanted money, 12,000 U.S. dollars. His employer helped round up the cash and Jimmy was released the same day. He says his abduction was a big eye opener about the prevalence of kidnappings. This is a big deal because that day, that day I realized how serious it, it was and this is nothing compared to what happened today. The hostages now include 16 Americans and one Canadian. Among them, five children ranging in age from eight months to 15 years old. In Miami, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News.